So with the economy the way it is, we were looking for some bargain wines, if you will, bottles that cost just to right around $20, a little bit under, and we've asked you to find us two reds and two whites that we wouldn't just find at uh, the normal grocery store, and you've come up with a pretty good selection here. Absolutely. These are great. These are what we call our everyday wines, if you will. They're at great price points. Um, for example, this is the Paraiso Shard. This is the, the Santa Lucia Highlands. Um, and this is a California Chardonnay. It's beautiful, excellent, goes great. Again, a really nice everyday wine. And 1695. Okay, keep going. Okay, this next one is really nice. This is Tobiano. This is from uh, this is Chilean. This is really nice. They're up and coming wineries coming out of Ch um, Chile. So certainly come in and ask us about these. This is a beautiful Sauvignon Blanc out of there, and this is only 14.95. Nice. You just yeah. took my job away. I, okay. I was going to do the price, but that's okay. Go ahead. <laughs> so what I do. Okay. The next one here is the beautiful Pinot Noir. It's an 07, which is really nice. It's a cartilage brown Pinot Noir. Serves beautifully. Again, very approachable right now. Open this up and enjoy it. Mm -hmm. And the price on that is? And the price on this one is $14.95. Okay, very good. Yeah. And you're going to finish with? I'm going to finish with this beautiful Solaz, is what it is. And it's a Merlot Tempranillo blend. Again, something you might not normally pick up, but goes great, very um, very easy drinking, as we like to call it. And this one is only $9.95. Why do people get away from blends, do you think? Uh, I think they're just a little unsure. Um, they know that they're, they're used to one pure varietal, so to mix it, perhaps maybe they'll get a little bit um, apprehensive, but certainly this is, at this price point, it's an easy thing to try. And $20 a bottle, why the difference in, in wine prices so much? What dictates the price excellent of a bottle question, of a wine? Excellent question. Well, usually um, there's some things, some variables that do go into pricing the wine, um, availability, um, vineyards, the terroir, there's all kinds of variables that do go into the pricing of the wine. So we've gotten through these bottles all at or under $20 Absolutely. a bottle, but you're going to take me and show me something that if I really want to go all out, I can do, right? We have that too. All right, let's go. Okay. Go these are what's called our magnums. These are our specialty wines, if you will. These are um, very novel. You don't find these very often, um, especially to have such a wide variety in one place. It's really quite nice. So why would I buy a Magnum rather than just a regular bottle? Well, you might do it for gift giving, for mm -hmm. obviously something. It's, it's a really nice grand gesture. You can make certainly, uh, but again, something like this Almiron, this is absolutely gorgeous. Uh -huh. I mean, there's no reason why you wouldn't want to try this wine. But this is something once you open, you really need to drink, right? I mean, you, you, you're destined to have a little extra in your system by the time you're done. Absolutely. Right? That's a possibility. That does uh -huh. happen. There is some leftover wine once in a while. Um, with that, usually what we just ask you to do is just try and go ahead and get through it at least the next 24 to 48 hours. After that, you really don't want to to approach it anymore. Yeah, what happens to the wine after that period? Of it time? tends to spoil. Remember, a li uh, wine is a live, breathing organism. If you keep that in mind, it does have a certain lifespan. So you just want to be mindful of that. open the bottle, how long do you leave it open before you pour, and then pouring and tasting. I mean, I don't know too many people that really know what they're tasting for other than okay. it tastes good. So what do we do here? We'll back up a little bit there because we'll um, go to opening the bottle. Hopefully, best case scenario, you're going to finish that bottle that, that evening. That, that's hopefully what, you're, what, what we're going for. Um, we do want to do something that's called letting it breathe. Okay, most reds you want to do that. Some you even want, might want to go so far as to decant. Okay, and basically what that's doing is that's getting the sediment out of the bottle, perhaps if it's been laid down for a while, and um, that also lets the wine open up and breathe. Again, remember, it's a live breathing organism. And how long am I breathing the wine before I get to drink it? Realistically, we can do about 45 minutes. That's really? usually pretty good. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, quite often even if you just pour it in the glass, that's usually time enough to let it open up. Mm -hmm. So when you do that, and you don't have a whole lot of time on your hands, you're going to want to go ahead and maybe give it a quick swirl. Um, that opens it up a little bit faster. Um, you can go ahead and go ahead and take a nice deep breath of the bouquet. Stick your nose real deep in the glass. Don't be afraid. Mm -hmm. And that's a really good way to taste the wine before it even hits your mouth. But what am I tasting for other than whether I like it or not? I mean, is there honestly a, a method to that madness? Well, interestingly no? enough, it's just that. It's if you like it. Um, you're, there are certain tasty notes, certainly, within the wines. And that's the beauty of the wine, that all these various 
uh, taste are coming from a single grape. That's, that's where the, the intrigue comes from. With that being said, certainly it's whatever you like. You have to keep that in mind. If you like it, then it's good wine. You're going to do tastings here soon, right? We are. Absolutely. And so that will really help uh, make the process easier for folks. Absolutely. You can go ahead and taste the wine prior to, uh, to um, purchasing it. And we're going to do different, focus on different flights each flight of the week. And um, it'll really help in your selection process. <laughs> I got to tell you, I thought you were just the hired help around here for a second. Because, I'm always hired. Are you? But you're the owner, too. Yes, I am. Tell me about uh, this particular place and why you and your husband decided to open it. Well, first of all, we're part of the community. And my husband has always dreamed of having a restaurant, a wine shop, a, a little boutique close to home that he could come by, pick up a bottle of wine, enjoy, meet neighbors, friends, and share his, his passion. This is a passion and it's much more than just a wine shop. There's beautiful artwork and, and things going on here that's, too, isn't it? That's part of his lust for life. He loves art, he loves wine, and he loves food. And you plan to eventually turn this into a tasting room as well? With, with God's help and everybody <laughs> else in the community, we will. Uh -huh. So what's, what's nice about having it here in this building? What do you know about this building? This is just a beautiful facility. I think that not only was it charming, it kind of fit our theme because it, it's a historical building. It was, I believe, the first school mom's building. It was a one-room schoolhouse. And it kind of had this warmth, you know, the original wood and, and the it was just a charming little place and this, this hidden little house in the back we kind of loved it on the old street you know this was the the street that everybody came to when it was exciting it was a one horse town mm -hmm. so and what do you like best about having this shop here what, what what's your passion with this i think i love meeting all the people it's it's just opened my eyes to how nice this community is and how warm and friendly it's just a nice place to be, Calabasas. going to do it for this edition of City Spotlight. We hope you've enjoyed the program. More importantly, we hope you'll pay a visit to one of Calabasas's newest businesses, the Wine Cask, right here in Old Town. I'm Pablo Pereira. Thanks for joining us.